Brad S31 here. Uh, gonna try and make this video as short as possible and easy for you guys. I'm just gonna be talking about the uh, the cooling system on a 650SX. Um, and I'm gonna be going over just how easy it is to really mess the system up and not do it right and uh, some other stuff. Uh, this ski is about as ugly as can be. It was a trade-in, it's a 650, 650SX, or I did a trade on it basically. Not a trade-in, <laughs> not a dealership. <laughs> but um, basically what happened here is that this, uh, some idiot um, hooked up this aftermarket pipe and then basically just, uh, just plumbed it all wrong, completely wrong. It's, it's crazy. So just like this JS550, um, we'll start all over with everything. So the uh, pump pressure comes from the rear pump, comes up along here, along the back, down, and then out. And you actually can see that line right there. Sorry, that's not the line. This is the line, and it comes from right over there, if you can see it or not. And it comes through, and it cools the um, exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold is the first part that it cools. It comes directly out of the cylinder block, okay? So the water will go through this line to the exhaust manifold. From the exhaust manifold to the cylinder block, from the cylinder block to the cylinder head, then it separates from there, okay? It goes, it'll start to exit two different lines. And these are my two different lines. They come from right here and right here. Um, if somebody has his head, I don't know, twisted opposite, then it might be from right over here and I'm guessing over here somewhere. So, but anyways, they do come out of two ports. If they don't, they probably come out of one and you'll have to split that line, okay? It's pretty simple. Anyways, make it simple. The water comes out. We're gonna start off with this line first, just for the heck of it. It's a nice, clear line. This line right here will come out, come around, the water will flow around, and it will actually start to cool the bottom portion of the expansion pipe, okay? And this per in this ex example, in this instance, um, when I got the ski, uh, the bottom portion of the expansion pipe was not being cooled down, only the top portion is. And the way you can tell that is if you look at this nice, pretty teal color, and now if you look down here, it looks like it's a dark green. That, that means it was getting too hot. It was getting so hot that the line right here, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, it was actually burned. It's still a good line, it still works, I need to replace it, but yeah, got the crap burned out of it. So that's what can happen. And the reason why that happened is because some fool had this system going in all kinds of places that made no sense whatsoever. Uh, I can't even remember how bad it was. He, I think he had it going directly from the head to the water outlet. And you know, water follows a uh, path of least resistance, just like anything does. And so it was going directly out there. Instead of cooling um, the top portion of the head and the bottom portion. And also, to try and explain this a little better, see how the water comes around? Well, it goes into an outlet that's over here, and you can't really see it, unfortunately. There's two outlets, and it's one that's so far down there, and with the light, you just can't see it, but it goes way down there, and the, the, the pisser that was going into that expansion chamber was all clogged up, because it was so tiny. So, just check up on that when you get one of these used. If you see the color uh, kind of off, you, there's definitely a water cooling problem. You need to fix it. But anyways, yeah, so that water goes down there, cools the expansion pipe, keeps it nice and cool, and it goes out through the exhaust system. The other line comes through here, comes across, and then cools right there. It starts cooling this uh, downpipe, okay? Once it goes from the downpipe, it'll come around, and I have it exiting right here, and then continuing on down, and then out to this pisser. And that's, I have it teed right there, where it actually cools and, and continues going down to the exhaust pipe and also comes out of the pisser. And that's pretty much it. Um, I get these hoses from Ace Hardware. They're super cheap. I think they're like two bucks a foot. 
nothing expensive. Um, hopefully by the end of the summer, uh, I just graduated school, so hopefully by the end of the summer, the ski will be up and running. I have a lot of work to do to it, along with my other ski, which is beautiful. And uh, that kind of stuff, it's sitting back here in the backyard of Colorado. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please do uh, ask. I'm more than happy to answer. Um, that's all I can really think of right now. But, uh, yeah, have a good day. All right, bye.